seeing what everybody's doing in the building. And, and he can filter it in different ways. Uh, so he could say, for example, oh, show me everything that my friend is doing. Or, or that. Show me all the tasks that are currently being done. We did the experiment in March. By now, all the tasks are over here. That's a little orange. But that's obviously not the standard case. You can see them all white, and that's fine. And then you could filter, uh, filter down and turn some on and off. And so on. That's perfectly fine. So if I'm going to see only Raphael's tasks, I would see those ones and see what's new and not overdue or whatever else. Uh, and that's Pretty much, I mean, for a five minute intervention, that's pretty much the explanation. In terms of the technology, what we have here is we have um, here in the background transparent, there's a lot of fun things. Oh, sorry. Um, we have Navisworks. Uh, we have a Navisworks API window that's in, that embedded in a uh, .NET application. So all this is .NET application, programmed in C-sharp. And this is an API window of Navisworks embedded. So we can take models from any, that was the idea, that we could take models from Tech for and other thing. And um, the one, probably the most technically challenging part of it was this, that uh, and we have an SQL database for all the, for all the tasks and everything else. And so the tasks are associated with the objects in the model. And that's done through the SQL. So, um, into the, and the Navisworks has a, a unique ID on each object. And um, the way that the, the most challenging part of all of that is to this that these uh, icons are in the .NET application. They're on the 2D screen. But the model is 3D sitting behind. And we can go through zooms and perspective views, etc. But you you have to prepare it so that when I navigate around this model, the labels move and center themselves on the actual work package where the work is. So that if I select it, say I'm going to. So so we have to do the uh, calculations to figure out. When I, wherever the 3D location is in the 3D space in the Navisworks, how that translates back to the 2D space in the front screen. And that, that took a bit of transformations. And, uh, that's it.